This is why we need to guarantee health care for all New Yorkers. It's as simple as that. Because no one should have to live in fear. No one should go without the health care they need. Health care is a human right. In this city, we're going to make that a reality. In this city, we're taking that ideal and putting it into practice. From this moment on in New York City, everyone is guaranteed the right to health care. Everyone. We are saying the word guarantee because we can make it happen. All these organizations have been fighting for health care for all. When I asked my team, what is it going to take? So look, you might say right at the jump, uh, is this something that ideally should be handled in Washington, D.C. or in Albany? Yes, it should. Let me just make that clear at the outset. The solution, the ultimate solution, is single-payer health insurance for this whole country, or Medicare for all. That's the ideal. That's what we need. And I strongly support the single-payer bill that's going to be uh, considered in Albany this spring. Because if Washington won't act, then our state government should act. But you know what? We don't wait here in New York City. We don't wait. We're not going to fall for the trick of hanging around waiting for Washington, D.C. to solve our problems. We're going to solve our own problems in the meantime. In hospitals, and, and he's done extraordinary work in his time here, deepening the transformation of health in hospitals, giving it the potential now to... Budget, what part of the budget? Well, as I said it's uh, earlier, I said, you know, first of all, taking the money we already have, and as I said, we've been joined by our budget director, and feel free to jump in any time you like, and we'll get people more detail in the course of the day. But the big picture is taking the money we have now and being able to use it better because we're going to have everyone covered, and that means everyone will focus on primary and preventive care and not end up in the emergency room, not end up in the hospitalization. So partly is taking the money we have now and being able to do a lot more with it, on top of the fact that health and hospitals has just gotten a lot better at using the money they have. Um, and then another part of this is the $100 million that we will add into the budget.